I do Hi, I my it? name is Rhonda Doolin, and I am a grandmother of a CUSD student. I am also a mother of a teacher of a CUSD. And every time I come up here, I'm a little more upset. And I'm gonna to talk to this board as a board member of a school district. I'm a current board member of the East Valley Institute of Technology. And I wanna to talk to you about some of your processes. What I saw today during this study session was time used up and no opportunity to have a voice to the parents and concerned students, parents and students and teachers who were here. They had questions they wanted answered. You did not allow that. When we had issues at the East Valley Institute of Technology, our board met every week. We had a board meeting. Did I like giving up that kind of time? Absolutely not. But it's what the community demanded of me. I was an elected position, just like you are. Give what the community wants, let them ask their questions, show them the curriculum, be transparent. That's what they want from you. And then I wanna address Mr. Evans. I think you were wonderful in the self-study. And you asked, what can we do for these gaps? They've been around for a long time. And I'm gonna tell you what I think as an educator for a long time. I'm a dean of a nursing college. You gotta Maslow before you can bloom. If you don't take care of their needs, you can't teach them in the classroom. Seconds. We have to address the problems in the home. We have to address the problems in the community. They need to be safe. They need to be fed, and they need to have their medical needs met. You cannot teach them. You cannot get to the core of the apple unless you Maslow first, and you're skipping that. Think of the poverty. Address the poverty. Start there with your gaps in building equity. Build up the family. you got to have them in your corner because you can't take that kid home at the end of the day. Thank you.